live touchdown in Hong Kong for the fourth event of the 2024 season. At the start of round one, a couple of cliques, Cali Samoya and Captain Martin Keimer, took charge of the top of the leaderboard. Cali Samoya has started beautifully here in the Hong Kong sunshine. And he is an early leader on three under par. Marty Keimer is arriving at the Live Golf Party. This to tie the lead with Kale Samoya, his teammate. The cleats off to a quite incredible start. Kale Samoya, he joins his captain, Martin Keimer, on five under par. The top spot on the individual leaderboard grew more and more crowded with every shot. John Rahm on 14 to tie the lead. It's going to be a cavalry charge of a weekend. Brooks Kepka, this is for birdie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many have we got tied now at five under? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven players tied at five under par. Bryson for birdie, yes, he's five under par. 12 players tied for the lead. I don't think we've seen anything like this. Hands up if you're not five under par here at the Hong Kong Golf Club. Dean Burmester separated himself from the pack, advancing to the top of the leaderboard. His steady play contributed to the Stinger's rise in the team competition. Dean Burmester of Stinger GC, the South Africans, he has joined the party. Well, lucky my name's up top. I see Stingers are up by one too, so uh, it was a good day for the Greens. It's a good golf course for the Stinger boys. Louis, the birdie at 15 to get to within one of the leaders. Despite the strong play of Burmester and Captain Louis Oosthuizen, Stinger could not shake their rivals, the Crushers, who dashed their title hopes a week ago in Jeddah. Crushers with the greatest comeback on Championship Sunday in Live Golf team history. The ever-present, the omnipresent Crushers GC. Charles Howe III, great news for the Crushers, and he's joined the party at six under par. Beautifully struck, confidently knocked in there. Look who it is, Crusher and Stinger. Stinger, 16 under, Crushers, 15 under par. Boy, it's gonna be close tomorrow. Ooh, second place, not bad, boys are playing well. Stingers, what else is new? Yeah. <laughs> we have a little bit of bad blood off the last week, I think. They're pushing for a victory, but uh, we'll have something to say about that. Look, it's going to be a good battle. Mm, we're coming. You guys got us last week, I think. Give someone else a chance. And if you don't want to give us a chance, then we're just going to take it away. The Fireball's Abraham answer found himself in an unlikely spot at the start of round two. Abraham Anser, the first time he has led at the start of a day's play in his live golf career, tied on seven under with Dean Burmester. How's this one? Just outside the right. <laughs> He's got his back to a hole. Oh, 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 right in the middle. Oh, oh. Extra, extra, read about it. I'm today's trying to tap it. And he is in solo possession of first place on nine under par. They want to see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. To stretch the lead to two. That's a beautiful putt there. He appears to be very level-headed out there. OG, don't be acting like you know me. And if you did, that's the old me. Oh, Abraham answer. That is simply magnificent. Abraham Anser has got it to 12 under par to extend his lead at the top of the pylon. And he's playing beautifully. Anser's strong play helped the Fireballs establish their place atop the team leaderboard. Chakara 11 for birdie and catches the left edge and topples in. Garcia's four under, David Pooj is five under and likewise Abraham Anser. Sergio Garcia for the Fireballs, that's his birdie at 11. Fireballs are in the lead on 18 under. Easily the best in class on Super Saturday. The cliques, with their sights set on their first ever podium finish, look to gain ground on the Fireballs. 
Richard Bland, the birdie at four, and Dickie B slips that one away. Adrian Moronk over at 10. The play of Ripper GC captain Cam Smith and Matt Jones put Ripper just strokes behind the fireballs. Cameron Smith is running hot. Four under today, seven under for the competition, and Ripper GC in a tie for third on 19 under. The Aussies are climbing, looking for their first podium finish of the season. Yes, excellent from Leash. Ripper 22 under par, level with the Crushers in second place. This is Cam for birdie, this for a 64. That's good news for Ripper GC as well, who get it to 25 under, three back of the fireballs. At the end of round two, the Fireballs had established themselves as the dominant force in Hong Kong as they held the lead in the individual and team competitions heading into Championship Sunday. What a couple of days for Abraham Anser. Anser's round today, as well as David Poo, just got the Fireballs to the top of the pylon in the team competition. This is becoming a worry for the rest of the field here. This for Abe Anser and a five shot lead. Anser rolls it in, 15 under par. Right now, he will be taking a five stroke lead into Championship Sunday. The big test is gonna to come tomorrow. Yeah. When the bright lights are on and the heat is turned up, he's gotta try and close out his first live golf victory. Really happy with, uh, with the ball striking and I was able to capitalize as well and on the greens. Um, so no complaints, really happy and trying to do the same for tomorrow. It's nice to see the Fireballs logo on top. It's nice to do it collectively. We're going to try to do the same tomorrow when all four scores count. We're going to get it done, man. We're going to get it done. With a title just 18 holes away, a single question hung over the Fireball's Abraham answer. How would he handle the pressure of Championship Sunday? Oh, oh goodness oh. me. Oh. Abe Anser without a birdie so far. And that's two drop shots for the man who had a five stroke lead and the lead is being eroded. It didn't break. Okay, hit it too hard on These guys that are chasing him, some of them can be quite dangerous. Someone's going to come at him. John Rahm at six for, for birdie. Oh. This is a right to left putt. Now the charge is on. Cam Smith. John Rahm now within three of overnight leader Abraham Anser. Anser's struggles, along with his fireball teammates, put the team title up for grabs. Torque seized the opportunity, courtesy of captain Joaquin Neiman. Oh, here's Waco Neiman, seeing off at eight. Oh no. Waco Neiman with the ace. Oh, he's not out of it. What a moment for the man of the season so far in the Live Golf League. Waco's ace has got Torque into the lead. Joaquin Neiman's ace set the stage for the chaotic race for the team title. Here's Martin Keimer, Klieg's captain. If his game is on form, there is no reason why Keimer couldn't figure into things. Richard Bland delivering again. The Klieg's are in a three-way tie for first. Klieg's, Torque and Ripper. With one swing, the clique stood alone at the top of the leaderboard. Kale Samoya from Finland, he was promoted to the Live Golf League at our promotions event in Abu Dhabi. Off the tier two, it's the second ace of the day. The cliques are 32 under par, and they lead Ripper on this day of days in Hong Kong by a single shot. No sooner had the cliques opened a two shot advantage at the top than Ripper respond and they go too clear. Lucas Herbert at 11. Ripper 33 under, they lead the cliques by two. As the cliques and Ripper engaged in a back and forth battle, 
a team of crafty veterans seize the momentum. Henrik for birdie at 14. He get the Majestics to 29 under. Yes, he can. Liam Poulter has rolled a birdie put in at 16, and the Majestics 30 under. They are in solo third. Lee Westwood has joined the party. This for birdie at 10. They are only one back of Ripper GC. What more <laughs> entertainment can these guys provide? Both titles are up for grabs. With his lead down to three strokes, Abraham Anser attempted to steady his game. Well, that's exactly what he risked. I don't see a whole lot at all. Where are you rolling and releasing that pitch mark right there? Mm-hmm. A little bit left to that, but pretty close. Okay. You. Uh -huh. Cam at 13 to get to within one of the cliques and to tie for second place, two back of Abraham Anser. Yes. He's still in it, John Rahm. He joins Ortiz and Smith. Oh, G-Mac. He gets it to 12 under par. There are now four players within two shots of the lead. Anser's surprising fall was matched by the shocking rise of the Crushers into the heart of the team fight. Bryson at 13 for Eagle. Oh yes, another magical moment from Bryson DeChambeau. But look at the Crushers. Are they about to pull off the virtual impossible again? They're two back of Ripper GC. As Ripper looked to hold off the Crushers and maintain their lead, Captain Cam Smith was a shot away from joining Abraham Anser at the top of the individual pylon. Cam Smith fighting on two fronts here in Hong Kong, and this is to tie for the individual lead. Perfect! Cam Smith charging like the champion that he is. And all of a sudden from six back, Cam Smith is level with Abraham Anser on 13 under and Ripper have a three-stroke cushion over the Crushers. Under the pressure of the hard-charging Crushers, Ripper stumbled. Are oh, the Rippers wobbling? He's missed that. This is Lucas Herbert for par at 16 to keep Ripper ahead, and he's missed. And the Crushers, are they going to do it again? They're tied for the lead. Crushers Paul Case had a single shot with two objectives tie the leaders at 13 under, and seal the title for the Crushers. Paul Casey at 16. You are, oh! you are kidding me. This is absolute bedlam in Hong Kong. Paul Casey has made it a three-way tie at the top of the pylon. And the Crushers, they've gone back to back. Our reigning team champions came back last week from 11 back to win. They've done it from seven back today. At the 18th hole, Abraham Anser, no longer alone at the top of the leaderboard, had it put to save par and join Cam Smith and Paul Casey in a playoff for the Hong Kong title. Abraham Anser, this to stay alive in Hong Kong. We will have a three-man playoff to decide our champion in Hong Kong. It was only fitting that one of the most dramatic championship Sundays in live history would end with a playoff for the individual title. Who will win the individual Hong Kong championship? Abe Anser, Cameron Smith, and Paul Casey will go head to head on what has been an absolutely thrilling Championship Sunday. Sporting drama at its highest, and we're not done yet. One, two, three. All right, guys. We're going to continue to play 18 until there's a winner, okay? Yes, we'll sir. Let's continue that same way. Guys, good luck. Oh, is that going to carry the bunker? It's outright. Let's get fully committed here, mate. Trust it, bro. 
wants to hit the fairway here. Let's go. Redemption, baby. Redemption. I wonder what must be going through Avance's mind because he has no momentum at all. Oh, good twist. Has split the fairway again. Really good swing right when he needed it. Little bit into the wind, little bit downhill, so it's just going to play the number. Ah. Not sure if his right foot didn't slip a touch there. Wow, that's a bad shot. Paul Casey, well, he may need to hold this. With Smith and Casey struggling, Abraham Anser had the opportunity to seize the title that had been slipping from his grasp throughout round three. All of a sudden, advantage Abraham. Great aggressive swing. There it is, Abraham Anser. What a time to deliver a shot like that after his trials and tribulations on Championship Sunday. Just a great shot at exactly the right moment. And the spotlight falls on Abraham Anser. The bubbles are ready. His five-shot lead was wiped out, but he prevails on the first playoff hole. And now he's doused by his fireballs teammates. But he has walked out of the wilderness in Hong Kong as a champion. Today was rough. Today was a struggle. But he all worked out, man. He was, um, like I said, it was very stressful, but uh, that was the way it was written down, I guess. I kept telling myself that uh, feeling that pressure was something good. I try to challenge it in, in, in something positive, and I'm right here talking to you about the win, so uh, I'm really, really happy about it. What more can we say about Crusher's GC? They've gone back to back after victory in Jeddah last weekend. A remarkable team success. Look, we're such a great team, and um, we've got four great guys who can win on any given week on any golf course. Um, this isn't like one superstar carrying a bunch of guys. This is everybody pulls their weight. Every week is an opportunity, man. You know, we, we, we wipe the slate clean every week. We don't rest on our laurels. But we know that we've got 12 other teams nipping at our heels wanting to do what we do. Foot still firm down on the accelerator and off we go.